Once by taking detailed history, examination and ruling out all other differentials, whether benign or uh, malignant, and we are sure that that's actually the synovial chondromatosis, then comes the treatment of synovial chondromatosis. If it's not really causing a lot of problem and there's an incidental finding, one option straight away could be simply observation. You ask the patient to, as this is a very slow progressing disease, it may take months to years to actually really develop any symptoms. But if the patient has developed symptoms, then probably the first and foremost, we will have to go for certain surgical procedures. And surgical procedure of synovial chondromatosis may involve actually the removal of all the uh, loose bodies or cartilaginous lesions which is present may involve partial or complete synovectomy as well because the lesion is such that there is synovial hypertrophy with synovial uh, proliferation and hyperplasia of the cartilage as well. Therefore, all this has to be taken into account and then when we are dealing with the joints nowadays with the new advent of technology we have arthroscopes freely available and arthroscopic synovectomy along with the deprivement and removal of loose bodies is mostly the go-to choice or standard of treatment but at times due to maybe constraints or maybe some other issues if this is not available then we have other options available as that and we may have to go for some form of an open procedure and oops, uh, orthotomy may have to be performed around the knee joint and manually we have to take out all the loose bodies and do the partial synovectomy of the synovium as well. It could be open or arthroscopic synovectomy and loose bodies resection. Synovectomy is important because the underlying problem is that there is synovial proliferation and cartilage metaplasia and there is every chance that this is going to may recur therefore if you only remove the loose bodies over the period of few years patient may come again with the same problem having the same intensity of issues and underlying the problem may again be cerebral chondromatosis if you see it over here this is the arthroscopic view uh, of uh, multiple uh, loose bodies cartilaginous lesions inside the hip joint and this is again another view of another patient and loose bodies are arthroscopically being removed from the joint as well and arthroscopic synovectomy is also an option now and can be easily done by use of an arthroscope but if for any reason arthroscopy is not available uh, expertise is not available then we can go for open resection of the loose body which is by use of orthotomy a simple incision of the knee joint has been done all the loose bodies are being removed manually along with the synovectomy and then knee joint and joint is thoroughly washed with a lavage and again closed back under strict aseptic conditions and sometimes this is what happens you can appreciate multiple they of and if you see it over here there is no clear cut shape there may be a variable shape variable size and the number may also be variable as well they may be in few hundreds they may be in few thousands they may be only few one or two or three may be present as well depend and size is also not a limit and they may be as small as like maybe few mm or sometimes it may be as large as two to three centimeter as well in this lecture, we have briefly covered a topic called synovial chondromatosis. This is a disease which usually is of a slow progressing origin, more common in males of the middle age. Most commonly joint which is involved is usually the knee joint, but sometimes the hip, elbow and even the ankle can also be involved. What is important to differentiate is that the history and clinical picture may mimic multiple other diseases as well. So if a patient comes to you with knee pain, you have to thoroughly take, take detailed history, examine and investigate to rule out conditions like osteochondroma and multiple hereditary exhaustosis, myositis ossificans or even the loose bodies as well. Then there are certain malignant conditions like osteosarcoma, chondrosarcoma and even the chondroblastoma should also be ruled out to 
make it sure that the patient gets proper treatment because if you have just removed the loose bodies and underlying problem was not actually synovial chondromatosis or other chondrosarcoma then the patient will have a disaster and it's going to recur very early therefore correct detailed history examination and after investigation correct diagnosis is more for synovial chondromatosis actually the of utmost importance because uh, sometimes this, despite the technical treatment recurrence may occur but if we have misdiagnosed it the problem with the patient would be that it would be maybe underlying some malignant condition which could be more problematic and a disaster for the patient and for his life thank you very much keep watching scardia.com